Alright guys, this is my second reassessment attempt for Newton's second law. Um, and I chose number 66 from the book. And the question at states, A helicopter is lifting two crates simultaneously. One crate with a mass of 200 kilograms is attached to the helicopter by a cable. The second crate with a mass of 100 kilograms is below the first crate attached by a cable. As the, two helicop as the helicopter accelerates upward at a rate of 1.0 meters per second squared, what is the tension in each of the two cables? So we're looking for tension in one, and then the second tension um, right here between one mass one and mass two. So I have my known values here. Mass one is 200 kilograms, mass two is 100 kilograms, acceleration is 1.0 meters per second squared, and I don't have it on there, but gravity is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. All right, so the first thing I do, I'm gonna find this tension right here uh, between the helicopter and M1. So what I did was I found, uh, the, uh, I'm using uh, the summation of F is equal to M times A, which is Newton's second law. So being that it's in the y direction, I get my formula uh, summation of F of Y1 is equal to m1 times a. Um, being that there is another block attached to uh, the first block, what I need, what I did was I added both the masses together. Um, so I get t1 is equal to m1 plus m2, and then I multiply that by acceleration times gravity. I'm adding the acceleration plus the gravity because there are two forces that are acting on the forces acting on the objects. So I get 200 kilograms plus 100 kilograms, and I multiply that by 1.0 meters per second squared plus um, 9.8 meters per second squared, and it gives me 3,240 newtons for the first tension, which is the tension between M1 and the, uh, the, the tension in the rope of the helicopter holding M1. All right, and the second part, um, we're going to be look for the tension between M1 and M2. So what I did was I did pretty much the same thing. I get the um, summation of the forces in the y direction because it's only going upwards. Uh, so that gives me m2 times a, which is also um, considered t2 minus m2 times a. <clears throat> so then I can add t2 to both sides, which will give me t2 is equal to m2 times a acceleration, which is uh, just oops, sorry, fans blowing. <laughs> um, T2 is equal to M2 times A plus G, uh, so that gives me 1,160 newtons.